Did it? Okay. Lumbar space, number six. There are four layers that we work through. First one, superficial fascia. The one in front of that is the lateral aspect of the erectors. In front of that is the quadratus lumborum. And then on many people, the psoas. So the first layer of lumbar fascia, I use my soft fist. That's the top picture there, although it's hard to tell where I am in that picture. It looks like a leg. That's a, that's a waist. And I'm actually doing almost exactly what I'm doing to Karen now. Uh, no? Really? A hands up? Is my hand on the hip or on the, on the hip? Hands on the hip. and the, yeah. Okay, now I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking outer wrapping, those big thick layers that were in that picture. <coughs> and I'm melting down toward the spine. This is classic fascial work of just helping those outer layers soften and release. Because they're thick, they're big. They have a big role structurally. All the way from iliac crest, at least down into 12th rib region. Now be careful, of course, not to poke on the ends of the ribs, but instead follow them along their lengths. How are we doing here? Excellent. Yeah, I'm really trying to pace it with her breathing. I'm trying to pace it with your touch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're talking to each other. Next layer. Now, to tell you the truth, in my, if we were in my practice, I might take even more time with that, of course. I might really get detailed about that layer, especially all through this area that's a little bit uh, bumpy around her ribs. Uh, yes? I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Keep telling me. Yeah, what did you say? I said, I might, in my practice, I might take even more time with it than we just did. Uh -huh. I might really go slowly and work all through that area a couple times even. Well, if we're focusing on lumbar space, you know, it'll be lower ribs, iliac crest region. It's a technique you can go all over with, but, you know, for our purposes now, this region. The question was, how high do you go? So for this next layer, erectors, I'm going, same tool, but now just in front of that layer I was on. And although erectors are a back muscle, I'm working the side of them. So I'm working down into their lateral aspect. How are you doing, Karen? Great. This is fabulous. Now, soft fist is not a closed fist, yeah? Is uh, My wrist is straight, so it's not that or that. I'm using one long line of force. And um, I don't usually say this while I'm working on someone so they can hear me, but the best thing I ever did for my work in this way was Kung Fu and working out on a bag. I didn't done much. I'd done Aikido for years before I did Kung Fu, but I did a trade for a year with a guy who was a really good Kung Fu teacher. I rolfed him and he taught me Kung Fu and he had me punching a bag. And it made my body work so much better, ironically enough, because it's learning how to project that energy essentially along a single line. Are you differentiating? You're just going deeper for the erectors, or each layer deeper? Yep, next layer anterior. It has a very different feel. This is against the column, the side of that erector column. Well, the last one was the wetsuit around the whole thing. Yeah? Okay. So for the camera,
down into the lateral aspect of the lumbars. Now in the pelvis workshop we do this and we add leg movement because we're interested in re releasing sacrum from below. So you, this is an option here. In this case, you can actually add arm movement too. So what's it like, Karen, if you lift your elbow, let your elbow float up over your head even? Yeah, as, as a way to extend it out along those <coughs> lines of the twist that we're working with this morning. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's excellent. The spine and low back workshop was really transformational because I have a lot of low back issues and I felt better after doing that workshop than I had in years.